Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Max here, ready to give you a, another video. So today is gonna be part two of how to be healthy, and part one was how to be physically healthy. So if you wanna check out that video, you can go right here to this link and you can check out part one to this video. But today I'm gonna be talking about how to be mentally healthy, and that's gonna be part two, and I'm gonna give you some five easy steps that you can take to really help your mental state and just becoming much happier and with positive vibes so let's just get into this video if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and if you are returning welcome 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 back so this video we're gonna be talking about how to be mentally healthy and let's get into it because I just want this to be a short video for you guys here because I want to give you guys some informational stuff you know what I'm saying some good stuff for you so number one is taking care of yourself your body so like I previously said check out that video on some four steps that I have for you guys to be physically healthy and what I mentioned in there is being able to eat healthy being able to exercise being able to sleep well and doing all that good stuff but i also give you four steps that can work for anyone when i tell you anyone i mean anyone so check out that video again another step to being mentally healthy which is very important is connecting with others i think that is so important when you have relationship with people because we are human we need that connection with others that is like a basic need of us humans so to do that is to go out go out meet some people have fun and that's gonna help you have a healthy mentality and even with me like when I was in college and I was going through a lot of depression and anxiety you know connecting with others was something that's very very important and something that I just didn't do because I was so busy working so busy trying to get a 4.0 that I cut out having a social life and that's something that is very big and being healthy mentally is being able to connect Connect with others being able to have conversations with people hanging out with people that's really gonna make you thrive and really gonna help you be happy mentally another one is journaling and meditating prayer those things are very very important to having a healthy mentality so I have a book right and I've showed you guys once before I don't have it with me but it's a journaling book it talks about your fears it talks about what's keeping you from a specific success and how you can overcome that. And then you would affirm that that success is going to come about. So I think journaling is very important. Being able to express your emotions on paper, I think that's something really important. Not a lot of us know how to express our feelings and that's okay, we all learn. So this can be a really, really good way of expressing your feelings, expressing your emotions. And I know that journaling can be a very big help because during my young days, I'm still young, but during when I was a teenager in middle school and high school, I had a journal and I, I had a diary. I had a diary and I wrote on it and I poured my heart out on those pieces of papers and I actually still have them. I don't have all of them, but I have one that is very um, dear to me because it's from a time that was very, um, I would say, dark time in my life. And just to look back on those journals and really read what I was feeling during that time, it actually like breaks my heart because it's like, wow, like I was really feeling that during that time. But look at me now and look how much I've progressed and how much I've grown from that. So it's kind of like a shocker, but it's also just to remind me, to remind you as well as that what you came out of and look at your success now. So I think that's so important is to journal it, to journal, to meditate, even prayer. Prayer guys, prayer is number one. It should be number one always. Talking to God is something so, so, so important. It's just very, very important just to have a relationship with God because he's going to be the one there to help you through any mishaps or any chaotic, hectic time during your life. 
just having that communication with him and he's just gonna give you that peace, that overwhelming peace that everything is gonna be a-okay. Another tip is taking a break. I think this is another very, very important is to take a break. If you feel that you're being burnt out, if you feel like you're doing way too much, that's too much on your plate, take a break. You know, if just being on social media is way too much right now, take a break from it and just do what makes you happy. Do what's going to help you mentally. And if that means taking a break from talking to certain people or taking a vacation, then do it because taking a break is going to be very helpful with your mentality, with being healthy mentally and not being burnt out because that's something that a lot of us even like college students too you get burnt out very quickly because you have so much on your plate now number five something that has been really in my heart this past year is focusing on the now and i really talk about this a lot in my videos you know when i do get personal and i do give in you know my thoughts is really just focusing on what's happening at the moment and not really focusing on what's going to happen five or ten years from now because that can really take us away from the present moment and what's happening today you know and if you are a futuristic person and you just always focus on the future how about you just start now start today on focusing on what's happening at the moment and just enjoy your time right now and just be positive about your time and bringing positive vibes i think it's just so important and being able to uplift yourself with positive affirmations is something very very important you know not really stressing too much about what's going to happen why didn't this happen the way that i wanted to but just really understanding you know that everything happens for a reason just focusing on the time right now is just going to be so beneficial for you and you focus on today and you work hard on today your future is going to be amazing watch and see also i always talk about planning your day so when you're focusing on the now and you're planning and you're putting things into practice and you're putting things into a routine you do see yourself much happier much more successful and so your health mentally is going to thrive and you're going to be much much happier so this is basically the end of this video i did want to give you guys a short video just because I do have a lot, lot, lot going on um, with moving and new jobs and new things happening. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I know this was a short video, but please just do those five things, which is taking care of yourself, connecting with others, journaling, meditating, and prayer, taking a break when needed, and focusing on the now. So those are the five points that I wanted to bring forth to you guys today. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video so that more people can watch it and more people can just generally be much healthier mentally and physically. But thank you guys so much for staying tuned to this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.